Today's going to be a new type of video on the channel. We're going to be learning how to play the board game Azul. Azul can be played with two to four players, and in this video we'll go over setup, how to play, score, and determine a winner. Let me know what you think of the new how to play video, and if you liked it, be sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new here. Let's get to it. What you're looking to do is fill your pattern lines to then transfer them to your wall. You do this by collecting all tiles of the same color from either the factory display or from the middle of the table once they start accumulating. Setting up Azul is easy. Each player receives their own game board and a scoring marker that starts at zero on your score track. Place the factory displays on the table according to how many players there are. Two is five, three is seven, four is nine. Fill the bag with the tiles and place a random assortment of four tiles on each factory display and finally put the one tile in the center of the table. The game's now set up. Easy peasy. For the first round, decide who goes first by some arbitrary method. Whoever's the youngest, best looking, or whoever went to the washroom most recently. Take the tiles of the same color and place them on your pattern lines and all other tiles are shifted to the center of the table. You need to determine which pattern line to start to fill and expect to have filled by the end of the round. So if you are looking to fill the line of five, make sure there are at least five of that color on the factory tiles. If there are tiles in the center of the table you would like to pick up, you may do so on your turn. Note that the first person to retrieve from the center also gets the one tile, which will allow you to go first the next round, but you will have to put this piece in the floor line, which means subtracted points at the end of the round. Continue to fill your pattern lines until there are no more tiles in the middle of the table. If you cannot place a tile, or you pick up more than your row has room for, you need to add these tiles to your floor line and will result in points that are subtracted at the end of the round. Additional tiles must go to your floor line and cannot be placed on a second pattern line. Now it's time for you to tally up your points. For each of your filled pattern lines, shift the rightmost tile onto the wall and count one point. If there are adjacent tiles on your wall, you get additional points. In this example, I get points for both horizontal and vertical adjacencies and receive five points. Complete the round by adding all of your points and subtracting the appropriate points from your floor line. If you do not fill a pattern line, those carry over into the next round. Make sure you keep your options open. Now it's time for the next round. Refill the factory tiles from the bag and whoever has the one tile starts. Continue playing and scoring until someone fills a horizontal row with five different colors in their wall. Once this has happened, the game is over at the end of the round. Note that the way to receive bonus points at the end of the game. A full vertical line is worth 7 points, having 5 of the same color in your wall is worth 10 points, and filling that horizontal line to complete the game is worth only 2 points. Finish the game by adding your points for the final round as well as your bonus points. And whoever has the most points wins! Thank you for watching my first how to play video. I'll be looking to do more of these videos, so let me know what you thought and make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you're the first to know when I post future videos.